Wake up, man. We're next stop. Hey, you doing okay? Yeah, sorry. I was just thinking about summer. I can't stop thinking about summer either. You guys got any plans? Well, gonna get the best job ever. Gonna rack up all them hours. Gonna make a ton of money. Yeah, you'll see. I'm gonna sit on my couch. Gonna lock all those trophies. One large pepperoni pizza, please. 33 days till summer vacation. We're all just patiently waiting for something fun to do. Sing through all the same old classic stuff. As you slowly pass this, get up, get out. And let's explore the Big Apple. Where dreams come true. When you open your eyes, you can find yours too. The Big Apple. Learning to fly is worth it. You just give it a try, the Big Apple, the Big Apple. I want to be on the swim team, want to be the greatest athlete, going to set the highest records New York has ever seen. I want to be on the swim team, want to be the greatest athlete, going to set the highest rank. That's my dream. Yeah, why too. Wow. 33 days till summer vacation We're all just patiently waiting for something fun to do Sing through all the same old classic stuff As you slowly pass it, get up, get out And let's explore the Big Apple Big dreams come true When you open your eyes You can find yours too The Big Apple Learning to fly it is worth it if you just give it a try. The Big Apple. The Big Apple. I've lived here forever with family and friends, but I still feel like a stranger. Ooh, trying to bring down the mood of the song. I ever feel like I belong. Uh, Trey, you coming in the fort? Yeah, sorry. On the Big Apple, where dreams come true. When you open your eyes, you can find yours too. The Big Apple, in a fly, it is worth it. If you just give it a try, the Big Apple. The Big Apple, oh, the Big Apple. about summer coming soon. Mm, you're at the best, that's lucky. What's a good attitude? Is that on cruising the sea level? No, that would be altitude. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ducky, you don't know. An attitude is the feeling that you give off that can affect someone's behavior. You can have a good attitude or a bad attitude. To have a good attitude, you can try your very best in everything you do. Get along with others and lift them up with positivity. Then you're right, Lucky. I would have such a great attitude. Let's all have good attitudes and find some enchiladas. Great idea. Sounds good. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Pigeons! <laughs> like a chicken. You know what I'm saying? Well, God created them, just like he created everything, including us. But pigeons. What about evolution? Mrs. Adams say we evolved from slime. Mr. Taylor said it was ooze, you know what I'm saying? What? You guys don't actually believe that, do you? I mean, slime? Let me guess, you think we came from monkeys, too. Well, 
That only kind of looks like a monkey. Burn! Wait a minute. Hey! Just messing with you, ma'am. But for real, I'm wondering where Trent got all these weird opinions. I mean, why do you even believe in that stuff? It is not a weird opinion. I got it from the Bible, and it's full of truth. Science actually supports it when you look into it. Genesis says, God created the heavens and the earth. Then it talks about all the other amazing things he created, like the sun, the stars, the trees, but birds. pigeons! Yes, even <coughs> pigeons. They're a bird, too, okay? Um, you should look into it sometime. You know, man, ever since you went to the farm last summer, you've been acting all weird. You've been talking about God and stuff, like, a lot. Could you chill out? Yeah, seriously, dude. You're all like, uh, serious, dude. Know what I'm saying? Well, this stuff is important. Hey, oh no, this stuff is important? Let's pick up a new bag for the fort. Uh, Bentley? Who do you think paid for those? Yeah, who do you think paid for those, Bentley? Oh. No offense, Bentley. But you're kind of gross. Actually, I paid for them. I wanted to bring some snacks for everybody. So you think you can just buy your way into the fort with snacks and Cheetos and stuff? You really think that's how it's gonna work? Cause it totally did. Welcome to the garbage fort, know what I'm saying? Uh, I think so. Wait, are you kidding me? It took me 20 bags of snack-sized Cheetos. You guys let her in on one bag of puffs? Wow! Wow, what bag of puffs? That's because they're snack size, Brie. Go big or go home, Brie. Wow, no appreciation. Wow, no appreciation. Yo, those Cheetos was the bomb, know what I'm saying? My fort, my rules. Your fort? Who do you think donated that trash can lid right there? Who do you think put together that wall? Bentley. Who do you think single-handedly brought in that wow. entire dumpster? Wow, you like to go at it, the don't they? Wow. Yeah, they both have very, very strong personalities. Um, just stay out of it, and you'll be fine. Thanks for the tip. I'll keep that in mind. No problem. You just moved here from... Uh, where was it again? Well, all over the place, really. I was born in Colorado. My dad is in the military, so he's always getting transferred all over the place. We spent a few years in Germany, then Spain, then India. The last place we were stationed was Virginia before I moved here. Oh, that's cool. I can understand that. I lived on a farm in Ohio for a month last year. <laughs> So you've lived in the city your whole life? Yep, well, 16 years and three months of it. Boy, would I love to live somewhere else. It's not a bad thing, staying in one place. It's hard moving around a lot because it's like you have to start all over each time. Last place we were stationed was pretty great. I had a lot of good friends because I started going to a youth group at my friend's church. Really? Well, I liked it. Bring, bring. Oh, that's my mom. She probably wants me to come home. Hey, mom. Yeah, can you hang on one second? Can you tell them I had to go? Yeah, I have to go babysit anyway. Uh. Yeah, I'm all the way back. Sure. Okay, yeah, I can look up some out. Okay, yeah, bye. 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 in so much trouble. I know, Mom. I'm, I'm really sorry I'm late. I well, that's not what I would want to hear if I was late. I know. I, I should have called. I was hanging out at the fort, and I just... I don't know. I'm really sorry. No, for... Yeah. Debbie, no! Oh, oh, Trent's home. Okay, I gotta go, Debbie. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right, bye. Trent! What are you doing? I need you home by 5.30 so I can get to Jose's. I know, Mom. I'm, I, I really am sorry. I'm okay, so look, look, it's okay this time, but I really gotta run, okay? Before you go, there's something I wanted to ask you. Could they go back to the Hudgens farm again? That thing I sent you to last year for the Get Your Attitude Together program? Yeah, that one. Yeah, she knows. Who's okay uh, to go? No. I'm sorry, Trent, but I need your help here. Who would watch Molly while I'm at work? And besides, you might be in summer school. I saw your grades last week, and you're on the verge of failing history and math. You were doing so well for a semester, Trent. What happened? Well, ever since you started late shift, started taking late shifts at Jose's, I really haven't had time to do my homework or study. Especially when I'm taking Molly to soccer practice and dance. I didn't think I'd have that much responsibility when I got home. Welcome to it all, head kid. Life is hard, and it's not any easier for me trying to raise you two and pay the bills. Look, I really appreciate your help, and we'll talk more about this when I get home, okay? Oh, okay, yeah.
see you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Interesting voicemail, guys. It's Trent by, the, Trent, by the way, and uh, it's been a really long time since I've seen you guys and wanted to know if you wanted to come up here to New York. It'd be lots of fun. I could show you all the things we could do. Please. Anyway, um, I'm going to run. Really hope to see you guys soon. Bye. can't believe we're really in New York City. It looks just like the movies. It's about time Trent invited us the Big Apple. It's a lot bigger than I was thinking. Shoot, that air was huge! And I didn't even know they made building that big. You thought that one was big? Look at that one. That one. And that one. It looks like it's scraping the sky. Maybe that's why they call it a skyscraper. I'm just gonna pretend you didn't say that, Chester. So you even know where we're going? Uh, Trent gave us an address. Let's ask what else nice place around. Oh, hey, excuse me, ma'am. Hey, hey, whoa. Rude. Hey, sir, sir, hey, whoa! Goodness. There's a taxi cab. You don't know where to go. Hey, taxi man. <laughs> Chester. Pants. Oh, my good ones for traveling so I can blend in on the big apple. Oh. Hey, mister, that's my wallet. Come here, Tony, stole my wallet. Hey, mister, that ain't very nice of you. I got no money as to where we're going. Looks like he's having a rough day. Oh, but I see Well, Clementine, I only have three dollars in there anyway. Hmm. Well, it looks like we gotta take the subway and get a metro car. Yeah. Gonna get some more money. I know. Oh, no, Chester. Oh, come on, Clementine. We gotta do what we do best. No, Chester. Remember those shows on the Netflix? People that put tips in my hat. There's a reason those shows are on Netflix. They're just actors. It's all totally fake. Let's give it a go. Gonna take my horse No, to Chester. No, 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 no. We're gonna sing a song. We gotta do it right. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. <laughs> he is the way, he is the truth. Jesus is the life. He is the light that shines in you. So let us love and pride. I'm a child of God. I'm a child. I've been rescued for eternity. I'm a child of God. I've been saved by the blood. Hallelujah, Jesus set me free. Hey, Trent, what you doing? Reading in the book of John about when Jesus came and brought us salvation. What do you mean? What salvation? Well, Edna noticed. Edna noticed taught me a song about it. Want to hear it? Yeah. He is the way, he is the truth. Jesus is the light, he is the light that shines in you. So let his love burn bright. I'm a child of God, I'm a child of God. I've been rescued for eternity. I'm a child of God, I've been saved by the blood. Hallelujah, Jesus set me free. If you say with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord And believe in your heart that he died and rose again You will be saved You will be saved You will be saved You will be saved And you will be a child of God I'm a child of God I'm a child of God I've been rescued 
for eternity. I'm a child of God. I've been saved by blood. Hallelujah, Jesus set me free. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I've been rescued for eternity. Hallelujah. I'm a child of God. I've been saved by blood. Hallelujah, Jesus set me free. new favorite song. Can you tell me more about it? Like what it really means? Salvation? I'd love to. But first, you need to know what sin is. Oh, what's sin? Sin is anything that disobeys God. All the bad things we do. All the bad things we do. God is perfect and never does anything wrong. He won't let any sin to heaven. It talks about that in Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Well, how am I supposed to get into heaven then? That's the cool part. That's where Jesus comes into the story. You see, God made the punishment for sin, death, but he, loved us, but he loved us so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to take the punishment for us. He died for us, Molly. He died for me, for you, for everyone. Wow, Jesus must have loved us a lot to die for us. That's really sad that he died, though. Yeah, it is sad that he died. But the cool part is that three days later, he rose again, conquering sin and death. And that is awesome. Wow, Jesus sounds like the best. It's why we've been so happy since you came back, because I need some of that. How do I get to know Jesus like you do? It's pretty simple, actually. First, you, ad you have to admit that you're a sinner, and that you'll turn away from your sins. Then you have to believe in your heart for what Jesus did for us, and after that, you're pretty much saved. And you can start building an amazing relationship with him. I can pray with you if you want. Okay. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I admit that I'm a sinner and that the punishment for sin is death. I admit that I'm a sinner and that the punishment for sin is death. I believe in my heart that you came to earth to die on a cross and rose again, conquering sin and death. I believe that you came to earth to die on the cross and rose again, conquering sin and death. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Please forgive me and help me to follow you for the rest of, life, uh, rest of my life. Please forgive me and help me to follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. Molly, you're saved. I'm so happy for you. Now you can start building an amazing relationship with Jesus. Let me tell you, it only gets better from there. I'm a child of God. You're a child of God. We've, We've been, been rescued, rescued for eternity. eternity. I'm so glad we both have been saved by the blood. Hallelujah, Jesus set me free. Woo! All right. Reagan, I've told you a thousand times, you need to go home. It's past your bedtime. You need to go home. That's your bed. Wow, will you quit copying me? It's not funny. What we're about to do isn't for kids. Bree, I'm literally two years younger than you. So yeah, I'm definitely... Oh, someone just tell her she can't come. Just let the kid come, Bree. We're just grabbing some snacks. But with that five-finger discount, know what I'm saying? Literally, no one knows what you're saying, Bentley. Yeah, no one, Bentley. He means stealing. Doesn't sound just like getting some snacks to me. Don't think of it as stealing. We're not taking anything important. No one will know. Well, maybe this isn't the best idea. Is Trent involved? Was it a matter of Trent's involved? You don't see him here, do you? Well, I thought he was just, you know... Let's just say it's a little outside of skill set. I got all, I got all the skills we need right here. Uh, yeah. I think it's plenty dark enough, guys. Let's make like a banana and leaf. Do you mean like a banana and split? Yeah, that's what happens when she tries to say something on her own. We can't all be original. Okay, guys, let's go. Hey guys, oh. going somewhere? What? No, we were just talking about making banana splits. Yeah, uh, just make a banana split. Sweet, can I get one? What are you guys talking about? We're not making stuff. We're not making banana splits. We're stealing stuff from Jose's and we're doing it tonight. Know what I'm saying? What? We can't do that? Whose idea was this? We aren't doing anything. And it was my idea. You got a problem with that? Yeah, I've got a problem with that. How is stealing from Jose helping him? And we could be doing way better things. And it's part of one of the Ten Commandments. We shouldn't steal. At all. Are you even hearing yourself, Trent? Just last year, I know you would've been the first one to want to go. Look, I don't know what happened to you last summer at that farm, but this isn't the Trent I know. This isn't my friend. Trent, you're out of the group, man. Wait, you can't just kick him out. Maybe he's right. 
hush, new girl, or you can get the boot too. You're not an official member of this group until you pass your initiation. As for you, Trent, until we know what your loyalty's like, you're out of the fort. Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, we're ready, let's go. Bree, you can't let him do that. I'm sorry, Trent. Jason's right. You're just not the same. Totally Gabriel. Right. Gabriel, you're not going, are you? Well, I mean, do I have any other choice? You heard what Jason said. Of course you have a choice. Just because someone's doing something wrong doesn't mean you have to. I, I'm sorry, Trent. I'm new to the school and the city, and I need people and friends. I'm sorry. I gotta go catch up with them. Why does it have to meet me? Uh. All right, new girl. Here's your initiation. We need a new speaker to play music at the fort. You're gonna go in there and get one for us. Wait, it's just me? I thought you were all coming in. No way, too suspicious. Besides, you need to prove you can be an equal member of this team. You didn't think a bag of cheese puffs was enough. Well, Bentley said... Hold up. You really think Bentley makes the decisions around here? Yeah, you really think I make the decisions around here? Wait, hey, I can make the decisions. Bentley, you couldn't even decide on what color Crocs to wear today, even though you only have one color. Yeah, Bentley, you couldn't even decide what color Crocs to wear today. Hey, those are hard decisions. There's red, blue, green. Bentley, okay, your job is to distract Jose while Gabrielle gets the speaker from out of the counter. Well, what are you gonna do, Jason? Me? I'm the mastermind behind the whole thing. I'll be supervising from across the street. Now stand watch by the door. Yeah, me too. Uh, Bentley, how you doing today? Coming in for some puffs? Not today, Mr. Jose. Getting the next best thing. M&M's! Uh, great choice. <laughs> All right, so looks like you got so that's going to be $2.25. So, if one pack of M&M's is 75 cents, two packs are a dollar, can I get three packs for 50 cents? Uh, no, Bentley, that's not really how math works. Well, it's going to be $2.25. Well, what if I juggle them? Um, I don't think that's how you juggle. Excuse me. Okay. Oh man, I meant to grab some peanut M&M's, but they weren't, there weren't any. Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta keep those in the back now. New peanut allergy law, crazy stuff. I'll go grab you one, though. Uh, Bentley, what are you doing? You're supposed to be distracting Jose. Where's Gabby? Yeah, where's Gabby? Did she get the speaker? I don't know about Gabby or the speaker. But I did grab these M&M's. Bentley, you had one job. Just one job, Bentley. You cannot go in there and steal, Calm your okay? horses, Trent. We aren't. Yeah, Trent. Are your horses calm? I have no clue what that means. We aren't stealing. Only Gabrielle is. Jason having her do it as her initiation. But I did grab these M&M's. What? Where is he now? Jason, he's waiting. He said he was waiting across the street. Wow, did he leave? Wow, I think he just left. <laughs> oh, of course, all right. Well, Bentley, give me the M&M's. You guys go ahead and head out, head out of here. Jeez, I'll handle this. Hey, Bentley, Jose told me to bring you out for the... Bentley? Be Whoa, what are you doing here? Uh, I just had to sit down for You had to sit down with a $50 speaker? Uh, seems a little suspicious to me. Jose, we got another kid trying to steal. You want me to call the cops? Uh, what? No. It depends on what she's trying to steal. Yeah, I don't recognize her. She must be from Queens or something. What? Go ahead and call. Wait, please don't call the cops. I can explain. You can explain it when the popo gets you. Give me back my speaker. Mom, please put down the phone, okay? Oh, thank please. goodness, Trent. Trent, what are you doing here? I'm keeping this from happening. Now, please put down the phone. Wait, Trent, you know this girl? Yes, her name's Gabriella, and she's from uh, she's a friend from school. So you're hanging out with shoplifters now, Trent? Uh, okay. No, that's not. Wait, now, wait, now. If she's hanging out with Trent, she can't be too bad. We'll just chalk this one up to a bad decision. Now, scram, kid! And don't let me try to catch you stealing from me again. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Trent. Sorry about this, Jose. Here are the M&M's that Bentley took. Bentley? Don't you think you're off the hook, young man? Aren't you supposed to be home watching Molly? Where is she? She's at home watching a movie, and she's completely fine. I just, I was going Trent, to the to I hang. can't emphasize to you enough 
how important it is all right. that you... All right, everyone, let's call more horses. Let's call more horses. My horse are calm. They're calm, Jose. Great. Christine, how about you just go home, take the rest of the night off, go enjoy a movie with Molly. I'll talk to Trent about this. Just wait until Debbie from accounting hears about this. Oh, Debbie. <laughs> All right, Trent, uh, tell me what's going on. When did you and your friends get into stealing? It's not we, it's just Jason. He thinks I'm the one that's changed, but it's really him. That girl, Gabriella, he said that she had to steal the speaker in order to be a part of the group. He's never done that before. He went way too far. Yeah, I remember being your age, too, having issues with my friends. Tough stuff. Yeah, ever since I came back from the farm and became a Christian, it, nothing's been the same with them anymore. Anytime I bring up God or something, it just, they, they say Trent's weird. Trent's changed, he's not the same. Well, you definitely have changed. You aren't the same sad kid who used to come in here every day to get a gyro. And your friends are just saying those things because they do see a difference in you. We all do. Actually, your mom and I talk about it all the time. That was a lot of humility you showed by coming in here and standing up for your friends. Let me ask you a question. What did you have on that farm that you didn't have here, in New York, the Big Apple? Well, I guess it was people who actually listened to me. Chester, Clementine, Otis, and Edna. At God, especially when I started praying more often. But I just don't see what that has to do with my situation now. Well, usually when people start acting out of characters because they're going through a hard time or they got something really on their mind. Have you, uh, tried talking with Jason about this? No. Well, you should give it a try. Good out. Yeah, I, I think I will. Thanks, Jose. All right, well, uh, it's getting kind of late, so you should probably get home, and I gotta get back to work. Yeah. See you later, Jose. Adios, amigos. Dear God, help me. It's not the same with my friends anymore, and I try to follow you in everything I do, but my friends just don't help, help with that. But I do know that you're in control, and that you know what's best. Just help me to trust in you. Friends and family are telling me what to do. Where do I go to end the madness? Over Brooklyn bound Manhattan Avenues. Where do I go to end the sadness? I try to make it on my own. But I feel like I'm all alone. I try to show them what's right and wrong. They don't see there's a better way. When all the lies are surrounding me, I need to see what's true. God, I need you to strengthen me so I can show them too. So take me to the mountain where I can let go of all the worries and doubts that show. I'll learn to open up and trust in you. You light up the road to lead us away to a brand new start now I gotta give you all of my heart So I do, I learn to trust in you I got a thousand thoughts and cannot think a single one How do I make the best decision? I got a voice inside that's telling me that I should run Am I too weak to face it? I try to all of us Gotta thought, no, it's impossible for me to make decisions like this, so I lay it all out to you. I'm not comfortable under these conditions, so I'll put my trust in you. So, so I'll, so take me to the mountain where I can let go of all the worries and doubts that show. I'll open up and learn to trust in you. You light up the road to lead us away to a brand new start. Now I gotta give you all of my heart. So I do. I learn to trust in you. Learn to trust in you. I'll learn to trust in you. This is only a couple blocks away. We should be there, Jiffy. Oh, looky there, Clementine. It's a homeless man, and I reckon he looks kind of sad. You should offer him food or something. That's a good idea. Hey, mister, how's your day? Can we do anything for you? 
No, I was, I was just... It's Trent! It oh, is Trent! Trent. <laughs> you guys, you made me in New York. What? Yeah, well, we got your message a while back, and we decided we had to get really? you, so we fed all the animals uh, some extra food, even made sure George got his eighth meal. Well, that's good. Then I remembered I got my palace house, and so we flew on down here. But immediately when we got here, everybody was real rude, and a man stole my wallet, and a text me and splashed me in pants, which I was ashamed because they were my best pants, yeah. and I hadn't even met here for two seconds, okay. and they were so wet. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a long story. We're just glad we finally found you, Trent. I'm glad to see you guys, too. It's like an answer to prayer. I was just talking to God about how I'm feeling discouraged with my friend group and everything, and then, bam, you guys show up. He's real amazing in that way, Trent. You just gotta keep trusting in him, and he'll never let you down. No, he won't. It says that in Psalm... In, it says that in Psalm 9, 1, 9, 10. Those who trust in you... Uh, those who... Tr those... Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who know who search for you. Amen, Trent. All you gotta do is put your trust in the Lord. You know, just on our way here, we didn't think we were gonna find you. Our phone died, and we didn't even know the way. But as you can see, God led us right to you. That's right. He really is the best listener. I'm glad we have time to talk. Yeah, he always is listening. That's why you never should stop praying. God really brought us all back together on the Big Apple. I can't wait to do all the exploring with Trent. Clementine was such a bore, never wanted to stop to take in the sats. Alrighty now. I wanted to reach Trent by sundown, but somebody had to get a bagel at every food car on the way. They're good. I'm glad to see you guys haven't changed. Chester, that sounds fun and all, but I'm really tired and it's been kind of a long day. Maybe we can do all the exploring tomorrow, and let's just head back to my house. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> about where to keep them though. So first I tried the chicken pen, but that didn't work because all the chickens tried to eat them. Then I tried the guard, but that didn't work either because he kept on trying to run away. So under the bed seemed like the best place because he seems to like it under there. And your parents had no idea the whole time? Not for a while, but then I noticed I was sticking half my dinner plate up to my room and asked what for. So I showed them darts and they seemed to get along pretty well. Wow, I want a pet salamander. Do you think Mom will let me have one? Um, no, no, I'll get it. Oh, hey, Gabrielle, what's up? Well, I just wanted to talk to you about something. Do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. What do you need? Well, I just wanted to say thank you for yesterday. I thought it was really cool how you came to the bodega to help your friends. And you got me out of a lot of trouble. I'm not going to let people influence me to do bad things like that. That's great to hear, and I couldn't just stand by and let it happen. Hey, Trent, who's there at the door? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you had friends over. I'll come by and Oh, no, me. come on in. You can meet my friends, Chester and Clementine. Guys, this is Gabriella. Gabriella, this is Chester and Clementine. Oh, nice to meet you guys. And this is my little sister, Molly. Nice to meet you too, Molly. Hi. You know, I owe a lot to these two. They helped me get to know Jesus and introduced me to our Heavenly Father. Boy, do I love you guys. Thanks for everything. Wow, I just prayed to Jesus too. I told him that I loved him and I asked him into my heart. Trent helped me yesterday. Really? That's great. 
You're a child of God now. That's the first step on a wonderful long journey. There ain't nothing like it. Wait a second. The first step? There's more? Of course there's more. Accepting Jesus is a huge deal. It's like one of the most important decisions you'll ever make. And he'll let you into heaven because you have accepted his forgiveness. But that's only the first step. Now you learn to grow in the Lord and follow him. Think about it, Molly. You accepted Jesus into your heart. And that's like meeting him for the first time. You don't become best friends with someone when you first meet them. It takes time and effort to really get to know them. That's right. Praying is a mighty good way to do that. Talk to God. The Bible says in Colossians 4, 2, 2, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. God can talk to us through, to, through in many ways, often through people or through his word. So keep your ears open. What do you mean his word? Oh, I know that one. That's the Bible. Oh, Chet reads that a lot. Because I have so much to learn. It talks about that in Psalms 119. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. It's a really mighty good way to read, read it and do what it says. It will really help you when you're going with, growing with God. Thanks, guys. I feel like I haven't been really following Jesus lately. I'm a Christian, but I feel like I really haven't been focusing on him. Really haven't been reading my Bible or found a church since moving here. I know it's important for Christians to be around each other so we can encourage each other and build each other up. You know, Gabby, I just recently started in getting involved with a church, and they've really been there for me and helped me out a lot. You should come sometime. Really? Thanks, Trent. I would love to. And Gabby, everyone goes through times like that. It's not always easy following Jesus. It may mean making hard decisions and for standing up what's right, even when it isn't popular to do that. But it sure is worth it, and he'll let you live in heaven with him forever. He, just, he and he will give you guidance and purpose while you're here on earth. Wow, that was really deep. I just love these new Christian friends of yours, Trent. You guys are welcome to come and visit anytime you want. Does anybody want some orange juice? Yeah. Yeah. Fresh from the Tropicana oh, jug. Sorry. And I have some sandwiches in the kitchen. Let's go get them. Thank you. Fresh from the Tropicana Wait, yeah. curtain. <laughs> are they made out of tuna? Hey, pass the cheese puffs. Here. You guys, can we talk about yesterday? I'm mad that Jason just left us at the bodega when Gabrielle went in to get the speaker. He said he was going to keep watch, and he totally ditched us. Yeah, he totally ditched us. Yeah, that was pretty low, you know what I'm saying. But at least Trent came back. Gabriella said Jose was about to call the cops. Yeah, I keep thinking about that, too. I think Jason went way too far. Trent tried to speak some sense into us before he went in. But no one even listened to him. He was right. We always have a choice. Yeah, we always choice. Can't believe you made the wrong one, Bree. Me? We all made the same choice. You know, at first I thought we were just getting some snacks. But then Jason told Gabriella to go get that speaker. That was just too far, know what I'm saying? But Trent was right. Stealing is bad, no matter what it is. Like, we shouldn't do it. We need to apologize to Jose and to Gabriella. Yeah. We should apologize to Hokusai and Gabriella. I hope she still wants to be our friend. It's not much, but it's just made of junk that we just found. But we have lots of great childhood memories here. We built, we built it years ago. Oh, wow. hey guys, what's up? Hi. Hey Trent, just chilling, eating puffs. Yeah, Gabriella, we were just talking about yesterday and how we almost got you in like a ton of trouble, and we all just wanted to apologize for putting you in that situation. You know, we should have stood up for you. Yeah, we should have stood up for you. Oh, thanks guys. I mean, it wasn't totally your fault. I made a bad decision. I didn't have to go along with it. I'm not gonna let that happen anymore. So, friends? Friends. Aw, that was so sweet. Oh, hey, I want you to meet Hi, Chester. Hi, y'all. I'm Chester, and that over there is my sister, Clementine. Hey, Trey has told me so much about y'all. This is Bentley. He's addicted to cheese puffs. Oh, and this is Bree and her little sister, Brian. Welcome hey. to the fort. You guys must be the weirdo farm kids that Trent met last summer and is always talking about. Hey, they're not weird. They're great. It's okay, Trent. Everyone's weird in their own way. We don't exactly look like we fit here on Big Apple. No one here even wears a flannel. Are you serious? Sure we do, Penny, and that's why I wore my best pants. I think I was splashed by a taxi man. 
Yeah, you kind of got to be careful with those taxi drivers. They can be just a little bit crazy. You know what I'm saying? So is Trent showing you guys around the city yet? Yeah, because he's literally the city, the sights, the sound. I get it. Yeah, he's showing us the tallest building. The Empire State Building. I've never seen a building that tall before. We're breaking our neck trying to see the whole thing. And Central Park was beautiful too, by the way. It's reminding me of back home with all the nature. You almost have a lot to do and have fun every day you're here. My favorite part about New York City is the subways. It's like one second you're here. The next second, you're in an entirely different part of the city. Sure beats riding goats for three hours just to get to Walmart. Wait, what? You guys ride goats to the store? Wait, are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> no, silly. Everybody knows you can't ride a goat into the store. <laughs> no. Everybody knows that. No. You know, you guys are pretty funny for farm kids. Yeah. See, I was telling you guys they're not so different from us. Sure, they're farm kids, but they're pretty great. Looking at me, looking at you, flannel shirts and your dusty shoes, out of the barn. Riding a horse, of course, that's what you do there. Feeding your pig, milking your cow. I guess it's not that weird somehow. So what do you say? We can be friends today. And forever. You and me, we're not alike and it's plain to see. Seeing the world so differently, I think we can all agree. You're not so different from me and you. Whatever it shows you're going through. Don't be ashamed because God made you. I think we can all agree. You're not so different from me. Oh, oh, you're not so different from me. Oh, oh, you're not so different from me. Looking at you, looking at me. Hopping trains in the big city. Hailing a cab. I guess that's not so bad. Unless you get splashed. Rats in the street, the people you meet. Central Park before it gets dark So what do you say? We can be friends today And forever! You and me, we're not like it It's plain to see See the world so differently I think we can all agree You're not so different from me and you Whatever shows you're going through Don't be ashamed because God made you I think we can all agree You're not so different from me Oh, oh you're not so different from me, oh, oh, you're not so different from me. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. oh, 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 All right, that's enough. You had your fun. Party's over, everybody. Trent, you and your farm friends need to leave. But you, you can't just kick us out. We just got here. Uh, come on, Jason. <laughs> Everyone was having a great time. Maybe you don't remember, Trent, but we kicked you out of the fourth. Actually, that means your hillbilly friends go too. About that, Jason. You made that decision on your own, and we've all decided to let Trent back into the fort with his hillbilly friends. Uh, Bree, we never actually really talked about uh, that. Bentley, just go along with it, okay? Yeah, Bentley. So, Trent's back in the fort. Gabriella is an official member without even having to pass her initiation, which we all thought was a terrible idea anyway. And Chester and Clementine are allowed in whenever they want. And they're totally not weird. Nope. nope. Not weird at all. You can't just take over my fort when I go to get snacks free. Uh, I think I just did. Go big or go home, Jason, and maybe don't be a party pooper. Yeah, Jason, don't poop at parties. <laughs> <laughs>
That's not even funny. Is that one of those? Is this one of those uprising kind of things? Okay, okay. everybody, calm down. All right. Uh, can me and Jason have a second to talk? Hello. Check I guess right, so. Okay. We're right outside if you need us. All right, Jason. What is going on? And please be honest with me. You want me to be honest with you, Trent? Fine. Let's talk about how all last year you would complain about having to go to that stinking farm, and we. And how, because your mom was forcing you to. Then we don't hear from you the entire summer. And when you finally do come back, all you seem to want to talk about is Hutchins Farm this, Hutchins Farm that, Shalukin, and God. Well, that's because it was a very important time for me, and I wanted to share that with you guys. That was fine the first month or so, but it's all you talk about. And how it's so much better than New York. And now you want to go back. You get a taste of life outside the city just once, and you want ditches for some hillbillies on a farm. I, I, I know. I'm sorry. I do talk about them a lot, and I'm sorry if it bothers you. Hey, okay? but they're not hillbillies, so please stop calling them that. You haven't even gotten to know them. Why would I associate with them? Oh, that's right. They're your best friends now, Chester and Clementine. Let me ask you something. We've heard so much about them this past year. Have you ever once told them about us or any of the fun things we've done? Probably not, because it's clearly not that important. It, it is important to me. You guys are all important to me, okay? I was going through a lot at the time. And I'm sorry, but if that's the only problem, then we the can... The problem is, I'm losing the only friend I have, pretty much, to a bunch of straw hat wearing flannel lovers. You're putting our friendship in the dumpster, and you're not the only one going through things, you know? I, I understand that I'm not the only one going through things, okay? Now, I'm not putting our friendship in the dumpster, especially not that one. That one's gross, okay? You and I are best friends, and it's always going to be that like, like that. Why haven't you talked to me about that before? Well, I mean, I tried to, but you seem to talk to God so much, I figured you didn't need me to listen to. I, I do talk to God a lot because it's a very important part of being a Christian, especially when we're in need or we just have something on our minds. You know, I'm trying to build up my faith, but that doesn't mean I want to lose my friends in the process. The guy I serve loves us all, and that means you too, Jason. You should talk to him sometime. He's a far better listener than me, though I'm going to try and be better at that. Well, doesn't really sound like the worst kind of thing. If, if you want, I can pray with you, and we can talk more about it. I don't think I've reached that point yet. I need some time to think about all this. No problem, man. Get all the time you need. We will get there. I'm going this way. Hey, Clucky, what are you eating? I'm eating nachos. One of my favorite foods. Really peppers. Doesn't much better than that. Am I right? It's not connected to this. See what I'm doing? Uh oh. Eight plates. That doesn't sound very healthy, Clucky. You need to practice some self-control. What's that? Yeah, what's that? Self-control is the ability to control yourself, including your emotions and behavior. Not to. Or commands them to them. There are tons of ways to practice self-control. Difficult situations, even delicious nachos, can help you practice. This is a very difficult situation. I need to stop eating them. But they're just so good. <laughs> you can do it, Clucky. Do the right thing. Does <sighs> anyone like the rest of my nachos? I will. Those nachos look delish. <laughs> Thanks, Clucky. Yeah, Clucky. <laughs> well, you did it, Clucky! I did it! I practiced self-control! But now I think I need a nap just a bunch of nachos. Vominos! Pigeons! Bum, bum, bum! Pigeons! Mmm, <laughs> delish! <laughs> There you are, Jason. I'm looking for you. Oh, hey, Trent. Yeah, I just wanted to have some alone time for a bit. But I'm actually really glad that you're here. I have uh, been thinking through a lot of things. Yeah, what kind of things? I thought about what you said and how I kind of let everyone down. 
I haven't been a very good leader, and I turn my own friends against me. I need to apologize to them. And I treat them better also. I wasn't very f nice to your farm friends either. And I'm sorry about that. That's good to hear. You know, I'm sure they'd be glad to have you back in the fort. And Chester and Clementine aren't easily offended, so I'm pretty sure you're good. Okay, cool. I've been thinking a lot about what you said about God, too. At first, I was afraid of the change I saw in you, Trent. But it's a good change. You've grown a lot. That's good. You know, I wasn't the one who made the change in me. Um, God did. I couldn't do it by myself. I think I'm starting to understand that a little bit better. That's great, man. You know, when you accept Jesus into your heart, he covers up all of your sin and gives you eternal life. And that's pretty amazing, you know? He's the only way to get it, get it to heaven. But he didn't stay dead, though, right? He died and rose again? Yeah, he, he did. And that's I'm really glad that you've been listening in. I didn't think you were. Well, I kind of was. I figured there had to be something to it all. You're the proof of that, kind of. Thanks, man. Yeah, you know, that's, that's great. Um, well, without him, we're stuck with our sins and, you know, the, the bad things we do. Um, but God loved, loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus to take the punishment. And I think that's really great, you know. Um, he, he died for us, man. That, that sounds great. I um, want that. I want what you have. Um, I can pray with you if you want. Yeah, sure. Why wait? I'm not sure how to do it, though. You think you can help me out? Well, of course. You know, um, it's just a simple prayer. Just repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I admit that I'm a sinner and that the punishment for sin is death. I admit that I'm a sinner and that the punishment for sin is death. I believe in my heart that you died and rose again, conquering sin and death. I believe in my heart that you died and rose again, conquering sin and death. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Please forgive me and help me to follow you for the rest of my life. Please forgive me and help me to follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. You did it, man. I'm so happy. You're my brother in Christ. Yeah, but let's not get all mushy now. Besides, I'm definitely the older, cooler brother. <laughs> Whatever, man. You know I can eat more gyros than you. Bet. Let's go to Jose's right now. Winner is off snack duty for the entire week. Sick. I'm down. Seems like Jason and Trent are amigos again. Yeah, and Chester and Clint have hard for our report squad. They've all shown a lot of uh, improvement with working with each other. They're fighting and arguing all the time to being very cooperative. What cooperation? Cooperation is when a group of people work together for a common benefit. When you cooperate, you do your very best to work together with others instead of only working for yourself. Oh, like the time. Oh, like when the guy Fort made friends with Chester and Clementine, even though they came from different lives. Exactly, just like that. That was a perfect example of cooperation. Together, they made the Dark Fort more bueno. Yeah, and Jason's going to show a lot more cooperation. Let's all work. Let's all have cooperation and work together. Fantastico. Next time we make tacos, let's make them together. Sounds cute. Let's go make some tacos. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Pigeons! <laughs> So, why y'all like these cheesy poofs so much? I've kind of been wondering the same thing. Because the best snack ever, so much better than regular Cheetos, know what I'm saying? I reckon I do know what you're saying. Well, anyway, yeah, we all kind of, you know, bonded over a mutual love for them. Yeah, we all love cheese cups. Do you guys remember how we first met? I'd love to hear about that. Yay, story time! Well, we had been riding on the same bus for a few weeks and getting off at the same stop, so one day we decided to hang out. So we went up to Jose's and Bentley bought us some cheese puffs and the rest was history. Bree, you're leaving out the best part. Today we formed Puff. When you became what? Puff. People United for Food. Oh yeah, how could I forget? 
Yeah, we all love snacks so much, and it was a perfect fit. That's how the garbage fort came to be. Wow. wow. That would explain all the rappers everywhere. Yeah. That's a sweet story, guys, but that's not the end. I started tagging along a few, after a few months, and that's when the garbage fort became awesome. But it'll be even more awesome when I become the all-time champion of the field hockey team. I tried after, sc out after school, and I made it. Oh. Field hockey? Since when? I thought you wanted to be on the swim team, like me. Eh, that was last week. I want to try something different, know what I'm saying? Okay, I see you doing your own thing. That's right. Oh, oh thank hey you guys, for event. We just had a terrible reading competition. I won five jobs. Probably not the best idea, though. Oh, I like can I sit down, please? Thank you. Oh. Yeah, you still got it. I can only get four down and I was done. That's nothing. I've eaten six in only half an hour. I got skills, you know what I'm saying? You guys are crazy. Yeah, crazy. On a more serious note, I have some big news. But first, I want to apologize to you guys. I pressured you into stealing from Jose's, and I ditched you when I was afraid of getting caught. I'm really sorry. I've been rude and angry a lot lately, but that's gonna change. I'm gonna yeah. change. Oh, it's okay, Jose. Okay. Yeah. We forgive you. Fine. So, What's the big news? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I'm a Christian now. Oh, I accepted yes. Jesus into my heart. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Cheston, Clement had been telling us about that. We've all agreed to learn more about it. Yeah. Looks like we got plenty of people to help us do that. We love you. Yeah. Guys, I just prayed to Jesus too. I told him that I loved him and I asked him into my heart. Trent helped me just a few days ago. Good job. Yeah. That's awesome. Good job. Wow, Trent, you're doing such a great shop, job sharing God's love and telling people all about him. I'm so proud of you. That's right. That's what it says in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Therefore, go into the world, making disciples of all nations, baptizing in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching all that I have commanded you. For truly, I am with you to the very end of the age. That's right. Yeah. That is the mission. Everyone has to hear about Jesus. I want to start telling people about Jesus, too. Yeah, yeah. Me too. that'd be good. You know, guys, there's something I've been wanting to do. You want to go to Times Square? Uh, uh, sure. Okay. sure. Can I go sure. Maybe. Oh, my God. Listen up, everyone. You've got to hear this. We've got a message for the whole city. Listen up, everyone. You've got to hear this. There is a Savior who can set you free. He came down from heaven to rescue you and me. He is the life, life, life of the world. And he gave his life to set us free. I want to show, show, show everyone the change that he made in me. We've been commanded now to share the truth. There are so many still that need to hear it. Lives will be saved when they hear the news. Yeah. He came down from heaven to rescue you and me. He is the light, light, light of the world. And he gave his life to set us free. I want to show, show, show everyone the change that he made in me. Now you can go, go, go all around the world and share his gospel of peace. And tell everyone he is, he is the light of the world. He is the light, therefore, go to the world. Making disciples of all nations, baptizing in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For truly, you are the light of the world, and a city on a hill cannot be hidden. He is the light, the light, he is the light of the world. He is the light, he is the light of the world. He is the light of the world. He is the light, light, light of the world. 
Shout, 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 everyone.